usually I don't cover these sorts of topics. Um, you know, we just cover the sports news around here. Um, but there's been a whole fiasco with Maria Taylor, who works at ESPN. And we all know what has been happening with that the past couple of weeks now. And, you know, things have gotten real tough. Things have gotten real weird. Things have gotten real interesting. Because, and, and we're talking, we're talking about sports media rights again, baby. We're talking specifically Thursday night football, baby. Thursday night football, the one product that needs to go away. Um, I don't like it. I've never liked it. But let, let's just say, you know, NBC is producing these Amazon telecasts, which tells you a lot. It really tells you a lot about Amazon itself getting the Thursday Night Football package because it doesn't seem like they have the money. So you think you think that Amazon would you know actually produce their own stuff, but no, that is not the case. That is not the case. NBC is, is partnering with Amazon, probably more than likely. 90% done deal. We don't know all the details and stuff yet. But we do know that Maria Taylor is probably going to leave ESPN amid, you know, some whole thing with, with Rachel Nichols over the past couple of weeks, you know. Again, you know, just a whole bunch of drama in ESPN that has been, you know, plaguing the company for quite a while now. You know, there's been, there's, there was some, just some drama just recently with Stephen A. Smith. Just a bunch of drama. Um, yeah, but the main thing here is Thursday Night Football. Thursday Night Football could be produced by NBC, and, you know, the track record, I don't really remember NBC's time with Thursday Night Football. I really don't, because, I mean, it's it's been a while. It's been a, it's been a few years, you know, since they had to share it with CBS. It's been a few years, and, you know, I've never particularly liked that Thursday Night Football was a thing, you know, maybe in the latter half of the season, but not the entire season. I don't, I don't think I could stand, you know, having this for the entire season, you know. And then there's also, you know, there's also a huge, huge report that Al Michaels and Peyton Manning, they, they, those two guys together, could be on Thursday Night Football. It doesn't make, it doesn't really make any sense, you know, because I mean, Peyton's like turned down, you know broadcasting jobs in the past and Al Michaels is in his 70s. He, I thought he was going to retire this year. I really thought he was I thought he was going to retire after the Super Bowl, you know, after the Super Bowl this year. Well, it's coming up in this year, you know, well, 2022, you know, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 56. Uh, you know, you know, retire after the Super Bowl, you know, just be done with the NFL, you know, call it a career because he's had an illustrious career career, you know. But now, you know, it's getting it's getting real weird. It's getting real dicey, you know. Doesn't Amazon have an all-female broadcast booth anyway? So I think you'd think they'd be using that booth, you know, because I think they use it for the Twitch and Amazon streams. I, I know one of them is Hannah Storm, but I don't know who the other lady is that's um, on those telecasts. And I haven't actually seen them telecast the game. We, we've seen Beth Moens on an NFL broadcast, and I don't like that. And a lot of people don't like her either, you know, because... That's her style. That's her voice. You know, because um, yeah, but, uh, I'm not even gonna really get into the why we did, why I personally dislike Beth Mullins. I like a lot of female broadcasters, but not her. Um, there's some damn good ones. And no, we don't simp over over Doris Burke over here. We do not simp. You know, like a lot of people have been, because there are some Doris Burke simps out here. But um, I, I just wanted to get my thoughts out, you know, on this situation. You know, ESPN, again, you know, has been on a media collapse. You know, I don't know how they got a lot of this stuff back. You know, they got a lot of soccer rights back. They got, you know, they got, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking they are going to, I thought they were going to get um, Sunday ticket, but I don't know what in the hell is going on with that. Um, they got NHL back, you know, they still have the college football playoff, and they're probably manip manipulating the CFP into expanding, you know, to 12. There, there's no way I actually want it to expand to 12, you know. 8 is fine, but 12, not so much. Because um, there's not 12 deserving teams to win a national championship. Not, not, in, not in 
not in the FBS. Definitely not in the FBS. It works for the FCS because, you know, again, upsets happen. But, you know, there's just too many dominant teams in the FBS, you know. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah. So what do y'all think about NBC potentially producing the Amazon Thursday Night Football broadcast starting in 2022? Because, I mean, it's going to be interesting you know what do you what do y'all think about the whole maria taylor situation because i really i really kind of glanced over it you know because i mean oh espn did something stupid again you know for the most part but i just wanted to get this out you know real quick and you know just have some thoughts on it because i mean i'm just like mm, this is interesting this is really gonna be fun to see how this plays out you know you never know what could happen in in the next in the next year because, I mean, you know, there's, there's the whole thing of the NFL going to 18 games in, like, 2024 or 2025 or something like that. You know, I really want that to happen because, I mean, 18 has been, again, 18 has been the goal for me, personally. I, I, like, I like that number, you know. If the AFL, the Arena Football League can do it, if the USFL can do it, you know, if the World Football League can do it, if the CFL can do it, NFL can definitely do it. They have the money and the talent and all that stuff there. Um, and they can definitely incorporate two bye weeks, you know, into that 18 game schedule. Please, please, because this 17 week, you know, 17 game, 18 week season ain't cutting it for me. It's not gonna cut it. Hopefully this, will, hopefully this again, hopefully this only lasts for two or three, two to four years. You know, I don't like this. I don't like this dog. Um, that's again. That's just that's just me. Again, just just sound off in the comment section and stuff like that. Cause I mean, there, there's I just have a lot of thoughts that are racing right now. You know, and I'll see you again very soon with another video because well, actually this this next video will come out on Sunday. So you know, see y'all then.